Hey guys, I've got another tutorial for you all today. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to set an alarm in Windows 10. What you will need to have installed is the Alarms and Clock app. If you don't have it installed, you can install it from the Microsoft Store. So launch the Microsoft Store and search Alarms and Clock. And you want to install the first one that comes up, which says Windows Alarms and Clock. Install that, and then you can launch it. Uh, you can launch it here or from the Start menu, whichever you'd prefer. And by default, it should have an alarm already set for you. What you can do is modify that alarm, or if you for some reason don't have an alarm created, you can create one and then choose the time, change the time to your preference, and you could change the alarm name, set the frequency, choose whichever sound you'd like, and you can either disable or enable the snooze. And then you just want to save that and then you're good to go. Note at the top right here it says notifications will only show if the PC is awake. So your alarm will not go off if your computer is in sleep mode or if it's powered off. However, if you plan on, on shutting down your computer before your alarm is supposed to go off, you can actually schedule your computer to start up automatically. So I'm going to switch over to my camcorder because I'm not able to show you with the screen recording software. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to schedule your computer to start up automatically. So what you want to do is start up your computer if it's already off or if it's on you want to just restart the computer and as soon as it boots back up if you restart or if it's off as soon as it boots up you want to press the key that allows you to enter the BIOS. So in my case it's the delete key so I'm just going to press the delete key in your case, it might be a different key. So you want to figure out which key on your keyboard allows you to access the BIOS. And it depends on your motherboard. Uh, some, with some computers, you have to press the F1 key or the F2 key uh, or the F10 key or the F11 or F12. In other cases, it's the delete or the escape key. And it might even be a combination of more than one key. So once you are in the BIOS, you want to go down to where it says Power Management. In your case, it might be a little bit different. It all depends on your BIOS. Then you want to go down to where it says Power On by Alarm. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better power on by alarm and it might be set to disabled so you just change it enable that change the frequency um, in my case I want it to boot up every day and because I want to wake up at 730 I have scheduled my computer to start up at 727 note that this is a 24 hour time so if you, if you want to wake up at, at noon or at 1 o'clock, uh, well, at 1 o'clock, for example, you would uh, set it to 13 hours. That would be like 13 o'clock. So you just want to keep that in mind as you're setting the time. And then once you're done, you want to press the F10 key. or uh, I don't know if, if it's the same in your case but you want to press the button that allows you to save your changes. I'm just going to exit out of this because I've already done it. 
And that's it. That's all you need to do to schedule your computer to boot up. Uh, I know it's different uh, depending on your BIOS, uh, but if you have any trouble, I'm more than willing to help you out. Uh, I think if you, if you have trouble locating the setting in the BIOS, you can tell me the name of your motherboard or what kind of BIOS you have. Um, if you need help with that, I can help you through that process as well. But otherwise, thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you guys in my next video.